Gentlemen, we're back with Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful, a.k.a. the best and most handsome shark, in my humble opinion. He was that's, why, that's why they call me Mr. Wonderful and it's all true. Exactly. So here's the deal. Uh, today, quick video. Um, he's got a run. He's got a uh, jet waiting for him. And um, I want to ask a question, though. I'm about to start a community basically helping people um, basically build their side hustle, right? Yeah. I feel like $10,000, if you can help somebody generate $10,000 a month in income. It's fantastic. Exactly. It's $120,000 exactly. a year. And That's... if you can get to 10,000, you can get to 20. And if right. you can get to 20, you can get to 100,000. If you can do that, you can quit your day job. Exactly. And right. so that is what I'm trying to build. But that brings me to something that, that is sexy right now and it's side hustles. You know, I feel like if you are somebody that is wanting to start a business, one of the worst things you can do is quit your job, pee on your boss's desk and be like, yo, deuces, I'm out. I'm going to go start my business without anything already set up, right? Because it's going to put a very job. dumb idea to do. Very that. dumb idea. You've got to basically start small, grow it. And then over time, maybe you can actually make that your full-time thing. So here's the deal. It's 2024, right around the corner. Yeah. Best side hustles. But first, I want to hear about this new company that you recently have gotten involved with. Yeah, it's called Wonder Trust. And what I discovered with my own companies was if you have employees on W-2s in 2020 and 2021, this program, which came out of the CARES Act, you can get up to $26,000 per employee, but you've got to apply for it with your payroll records. It's complicated. So I set up Wonder Trust. We do a live interview with you to figure out if you're actually eligible for it because you don't want to go through all the trouble to go through the application. You're going to wait four or five months to get your check. But, you know, if you've got, and this is only for companies between five and and you know, 200 employees around that range, that kind of thing. Most of my companies are sort of five to 150, so they applied for this. And even if you took the PPP loan, you're still eligible. Um, and so we process these things. You do not pay anything until you get your check. And then the, whatever the fees are, you pay. But you've got a bunch of professionals at Wonder Trust that can really help you do it. And we've done it for many, many, many companies. So check out wondertrust.com and we'll tell you if you're eligible. Awesome. Guys, we're going to have a link down below if you want to check out Wonder Trust. But now let's talk about side hustles yeah. so they can build that company and have those 5, 10, 100, 200 employees. Side hustle number one, what would you say is a good opportunity in today's market in terms of if you were to start a side hustle, you didn't have any businesses, what would it be and why? So I like simple products that people see and visually understand right away what the value is. Because remember, if you're gonna start a side hustle, you're gonna do it online. Yeah. So you're gonna you know, set up a website, maybe you're gonna to go to a Shopify situation, and then you're gonna start shooting videos. So the first question you should ask yourself to be successful is, am I a storyteller? Am I a person that can look in the camera like you and I are right now and explain, I've got this product for you, and here's why it's really great, and get people to look at it and say, you know, I want to buy that. I want to try it. That's, now, then that can be a wide range of things. It could be a hair product, could be makeup, it could be an electronic gadget. It doesn't matter. Does it solve a problem? And can you explain why it's a good buy? But what if you're not great at storytelling? What if you just want to be an entrepreneur and you want to start a business, you have a product that you love or you've got a passion? Can you do that? Well, you can. You can start hiring influencers. That gets more expensive. It does. Because they're good at it. That's why they are influencers. And they're going to take some free product from you, some of the margin. They're going to do whatever it is that the economics are good for them and for you. And a lot of that goes on. The very best dynamic, though, is when you tell the truth about your business and you connect with people and they want you to succeed. Yeah. Those are community-based products or services which go viral over time. You know, I, I remember this woman who just designed something for babies, I mean, she was, she was a, you know, obviously a pregnant mother, and she said, I've got this product that makes it easier for you to entertain a, a you know, one, zero to one year old. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just a simple rattle-like product, but because she was explaining why it worked for her, yeah. other mothers really got into yeah. it and it became part of this mom community, and she sold millions of dollars of it because they all talk to each other, and that's what you want in a product like that. Yeah. And so, every kind of product imaginable, it's so much better when you tell the story. And you, then you can also track your business day to day. Think about Wicked Good Cupcakes, mother-daughter cupcake team. Mm -hmm. That was a Shark Tank product, but we'd never seen that before in Shark Tank. Every day they documented the trials and tribulations, even when they were fighting with each other. And, th and then all of a sudden <laughs> other people said, wow, I want to be part of this community. Yeah. I want to be part of this family. And they had horrible fights online. 
and like, I want this flavor, I want that flavor, I want to put this jar in this thing. And people said, wow, I want to try that. I want to, I want to help them. Would you recommend everybody who's starting a business try to become an influencer or have a social media presence? It's not do I recommend it. You have to have one. You have to. I mean, it's, you, you, you need to set up your LinkedIn, make it three paragraphs max. You need to have an account on Instagram. You got to be on TikTok. It doesn't matter if you start with 100 followers. You got to build that base. Even Twitter, now X. Facebook, for sure. Instagram, 100%. It, All of them. And you know, you set these accounts up for free and you go to work generating content every day. And here's the other thing that I've said. You know, it's also just understand that you say something, you've got a passion, you've got something you want to talk about, it will find its audience. You just need to not get hung up on perfection, right? Because one of the things that prevents a lot of people from starting to film videos or post online is they're worried about what they look like or they're not super like comfortable. Forget, Forget all, all that. that. Look, I mean, you know, he's I don't, a I don't super e charming and handsome guy, but you know. I don't even wear pants when I make videos. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Look, that doesn't, people want reality. They smell bullshit a mile away. 100%. They want the truth and that's what you have to give them. And I, remember, there's two things you gotta learn and you can look these up online. It's, one's called CAC, customer acquisition cost. You want a low customer acquisition cost. That's people that say, oh, I'm gonna try the product after you've reached out to them. Mm -hmm. And then you want something called ROAS to be high, return on advertising spend. So if your product makes 50% margin and you buy some advertising on Facebook, on Meta, and you get a 2X ROAS, return on advertising spend, you're breaking even. You get 2.5, you're making a ton of money. You know why? Because when you're spending a dollar to make 50 cents, you gotta do two of those to yeah. break even. Absolutely. So that's the whole idea. CAC and ROAS, CAC and ROAS. There's also ROAS. LTV, right? <laughs> but, <laughs> Lifetime mean, value is also important. Now, yeah, some, you can learn all this stuff online absolutely. too. But be a storyteller, learn how to make videos, learn how to edit What is your them. feeling about private label, white label? Much harder because you're gonna lose a bunch of margin there and you're not building a brand. But here's the thing. Well, you can, you absolutely can. That's what Pete and Pedro started as. We're not anymore, but when we started, it was- You quite, wanted to get people to buy Pete and Pay. But here's, but here's the thing, but here's the thing, Kevin, the barrier to entry is a lot lower, as right. opposed to if you were to go out and try to create like a suit, right? If what you are you were saying? Gonna, you private label, is that what you're I saying? I private label- Oh yeah, yeah, that, you, I thought you said to me, you're the manufacturer and you give it to someone else. No, 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 no. You're no, doing no. it reverse, I agree yeah. with you. So you, you basically build a brand and you go and acquire this customer as a private label, I get it. No, 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 I think we've got it backwards. Well, what okay. are you saying? Okay, so you go, find This is why I kicked them off Shark Tank. <laughs> no, <laughs> anyway, here's the deal. Like private label, basically, there are a lot of manufacturers out there that make their own products, but they also will private label it for somebody so you else. you can buy it and put your own brand on it. Correct, and that's what I did with Pete and Pedro for $3,000. I think I, that's a great idea, I, I agree with that. And as you grow, as you basically are placing larger orders, then you can basically customize the orders. But just getting started, like whether or not you want to do sunglasses, you want to do, you know, t-shirts, you want to do like watches, rings, like hair products, skincare, you can find, do a little Google search, right? For private label, whatever you're it's interested in. It's also known as OEMing, which is original equipment manufacturer. That's I have never heard that. Yes, when you Google, look up OEM, because that's really what China's all about. If you want to build a brand out of something they manufacture, you go to the OEM market in China. Yep. But either way, the concept's the same. Yeah. And Alibaba is another great resource, but it's about reaching out and looking. And then the cool thing with, with Alibaba and some of these private label companies is that if you want to go custom, they can basically, they'll give you basically the template and then you can customize, you can add higher end products. You know, one of the big things people say, oh, it's cheap China shit. Well, it's only cheap China shit if you, the manufacturer are using cheap China. You don't have to use cheap yeah. China. You can get expensive China. Exactly. And that's kind of how I started Enemy, right? Yeah. I found a manufacturer. I customized it. I put Zeiss lenses in, Mezzicelli acetate. The problem with Enemy is that I built a really premium product and I didn't charge enough. I didn't have enough margin in there in yeah. order to sell If you're going to do that and you're going to go really high end, yep. you're building a brand like that, you've got to charge a fortune. Yep. I, listen, I saw some sunglasses in LA last week for $2,500. Yep. And I, and I bought them. Do you know what kind? They're, they're a, it's an Italian brand. It's across the street from the hotel. And they were red, which matched my yeah. watch band. And they were round. Yeah. I look spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just spectacular. Okay, so here's the deal. You can do that, custom manufacturer. You could also go private label. But you know, let's have some fun. I'm going to go grab them and put them on. Get them. You want to see them? Where are they? You I want to see, see them. Really good looking. I want to wear them. All right, here we go. Here they are. 
Aaron, look at oh. this. You're talking Mr. Wonderful. You got the red band, red poof, and ready for this? Ichi caramba. They were $2,500? Yeah, I think they were more with tax. You got ripped off. But boy, I look beautiful. <laughs> I can't believe how good I look. look. You look amazing, Kevin. Let me tell you something. T tell me something. Tell them something. Chicks dig them. Chicks dig them. All right, so here's the deal. Final words. Somebody wants to be an entrepreneur. What would you say is your number one best piece of advice? You've seen thousands of people come in front of you and pitch their products. You know, you know, Pete and Pedro, it was a miss, but you know, at the time you would, you would disagree. The Alpha M style system, I was on season four and seven. Four, you guys hated me. Very few dudes get on twice. It's my Very, job. very few. <laughs> anyway, best piece of entrepreneurial advice for everybody watching. Get ready to work your ass off. And remember, entrepreneurship is not a destination. It's a journey and it never ends. And hopefully one day the future's so bright, you gotta wear these. <laughs> Kevin, thanks, brother. Take care, everybody. Later, gentlemen.